in a rectangle the two diagonals bisect each other and the two diagonals are of equal length and we have to prove the same okay so if this is diagonal bd and this is the diagonal ac then we have to prove that the two diagonals bisect each other and the two diagonals are of the same length so let's suppose that this is the point of intersection of these two diagonals and let's name it o and first we will look for the proof that the two diagonals bisect each other so let's take these two triangles triangle aob and triangle cod triangle aob and triangle cod right now we know that in a rectangle the opposite sides are parallel and equal to each other right so this ab is equal to cd and these two are parallel ad is equal to bc and these two are parallel now let's quickly name these angles let this be angle 1 this be angle 2 let this be angle 3 and let this be angle 4 now if you look at this line ab and the parallel line cd so this is ab and this is cd now this angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because these two are parallel lines and this is the transversal therefore angle 1 and angle 2 are alternate interior angles and therefore they are equal so angle 1 is equal to angle 2 then if you look at the line AB is equal to the line CD and then if you look at this side AB again but this time this is a transversal and again parallel line AB and DC and from here this angle 3 is equal to angle 4 alternate interior angles because two parallel lines it's transversal and the alternate interior angles are equal so angle 3 is equal to angle 4 right now you have two angles equal that is a you have two sides equal that is s and then again you have angle equal angles equal so angle 1 and 2 the attached side joint side and then attached angle again right so from ASA criterion, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Now, since these two triangles are congruent, so if you look at these two triangles, because now we have to establish the correspondence. So if this is triangle AOB, A O B and if this is triangle C O D C O D now the angle 1 that is if we say that the angle A of this triangle is equal to angle C of this triangle right angle 1 and angle 2 if we name it 1 and 2 so as we have seen here angle 1 is equal to angle 2 or we can say angle A is equal to angle C it means that or wait a minute and let's see some more things before we make any conclusion then if you look at this angle 3 that is angle B of this triangle AOB and this angle 4 that is angle C angle ODC of this triangle OBA, ABO and CDO these two triangles are equal or angle B is equal to angle D so if D1 is equal to angle 2 that is A is equal to C 3 is equal to 4 that is B is equal to D therefore these two angles uh, the remaining angles will be equal the remaining angles are equal right it means that 
we have proved that these two triangles are congruent and if we try to transpose that is if we try to fit this triangle AOB on this triangle COD then the vertex A of this triangle will fit on vertex C will fall on vertex C of this triangle vertex B of this triangle will fall on vertex D of this triangle and vertex O of this triangle will fall on vertex O of this triangle that is they will completely fit with each other so what's the correspondence A of this triangle and C of this triangle B of this triangle and D of this triangle O of this triangle and O of this triangle these are the corresponding vertices it means that when you fit this triangle AOB on this triangle COD then you will get that BO because B will fall on D right so BO is equal to DO and similarly your AO will be equal to CO because AO will completely cover or fall on CO because this vertex will fall here so AO is equal to CO. BO of triangle AOB is equal to DO of triangle COD. AO of triangle AOB is equal to CO of triangle COD. And if you find it difficult to visualize like in this way, you can make the same conclusions from here. Like you can make this is AO. So A and O. A and O is equal to C and O. Then B and O is equal to D and O. D O. B O is equal to D O, not D and O. I'm sorry. B O is equal to D O. A O is equal to C O. B O is equal to D O. So B O is equal to what? B O is equal to D O. And then A O is equal to C O. So we have proved that the two diagonals bisect each other. Now let's prove that the two diagonals are equal in length. So for that, let's draw the two diagonals again. And this time, take triangle, first take triangle ADC. Triangle ADC and then take triangle BCD BCD. So you have to take then this triangle B C and D. So let me draw here separately. This is ADC. And this is triangle BCD. ADC, BCD. These two angles are at the right angle, right? because this is angle D and this is angle C. These two are at right angles. Now, if you look at these two triangles, this AD is equal to this BC. So AD of triangle ADC is equal to BC of triangle uh, BCD. This angle D is equal to angle C of BCD is equal to 90 degrees. And then this DC, and CD, these two are common, this is common side, right? The same thing, this one. This is common. Can you see it? This is common. So this is common. So this DC is equal to CD of triangle BCD. Now, we have AD is equal to BC, that is S, this S, then Two angles are equal, this angle S and A, S and A and the two sides, the side is again common. 
this is common side. So S A S S angle and the including side two sides and the including angle two sides and the including angle S A S from S A S criterion we can say that these two triangles are congruent. These two triangles are congruent. Now since these two triangles are congruent and we have seen that this A D is equal to B C this D C is equal to C D therefore the third side will be equal because now these two triangles are congruent. So this third side will be equal that is AC of triangle ADC is equal to BD of triangle BCD right that is this side that is AC this AC is equal to this BD that is the two diagonals are actually equal to each other hence proved.